up YouTube? It's your boy as Breezy here. Um, I'm here with another quick tip uh from Virtual DJ. Uh today's topic is gonna be about uh your samples. Uh I don't know if you guys probably may have experienced problems where you probably have input a sample and then you turn off your program and shut it down and open it up the next morning or whenever you had a gig, um, and basically all your samples are gone. Uh the main problem is guys if you're going to load a sample in your sampler, you shouldn't load it from, say, let's say, an external device or anything like that. If you want to load a sample and then ensure every time you close it and open it back up, what you want to do is, let's close this down right here. Uh, you want to go into your, your document, okay? And then from there, you'll go to your virtual DJ. And um and go to samplers. Right here is whatever sample you're gonna want to load up in there. You just automatically let's just say just take the file and drag it into this folder here. And once you close that out, you would open Virtual DJ back up. And um you would come in here, you would go to load, uh, and you would find let's say let me see something that I'm not using in here. Um Okay, I just put this in here. Yeah, I'll put this in here. Okay, fine. Whatever. And um if you didn't know, if you didn't know. and just you just have it saved in there. And then once you close it out, shut down the computer, it should automatically it should automatically be there every time you open it up because the file, once it opened up, it just first search for the directory wherever it was inputted from. And then so just say if you you're at a gig. And then you set up your whole program. Um, you, you open up virtual, but you don't have your hard drive in there first. Once you open it up, it's not going to search. It's not going to have it in there because um, it automatically searched for the directory that it was saved in, and it's no longer there. So it's going to just pop up as nothing. So the best way to have it insured all the time is to make sure that you save it in your automatic sample folder that comes with the program. That's it, guys. Um, comment and subscribe. And um. If there isn't anything else that I can do or any question that you guys have, just let me know and I'll be glad to help. Over and out.